Got some upgrades for it. Um, getting a little pile built up here, but we won't show that. <laughs> but the first thing, first thing you guys probably already seen. If you didn't see it, we did the Evo um, Shocker exhaust, which is like the cutout, the cat bypass cutout valve thing. Really happy with that so far. I haven't got to ride it, but but kind of been planning this build for a little bit, so I've been stockpiling some stuff, had some money saved up, and everything. And just gonna do a few things first before I even ride it. Um, I'm not really a fan of the fact that it comes on 30s. You know, I've been running 30s on the YZ, and I want to go to 32s. So switching it up today with some 32 inch sticky rockzillas. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, I'm excited for these. These things are sick. Just yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty serious because we have another set of 30 inch rockzillas on Josh's machine. And they're nowhere near as sticky as these, so we're pretty no, excited. You can't touch the, you can't touch like lugs together or nothing on Josh's. But I mean, and and you guys, have, if you guys are watching the channel, you see. I mean, Josh's tires are doing really, really well. So it's definitely exciting to see what the sticky will change. And it seems like I don't know if this is a difference between like the sticky and the non-sticky or 32 to 30, but like these paddles are like are huge these are like two fingers yeah we noticed too when we were looking at Josh as they come down way farther so like the side bites are just way farther it's way more whatever you want to call it side sidewall traction side lug. <laughs> yeah uh, it's hard it's to explain bigger, bigger and longer like lugs on the sidewall which you know comparing it to like something like this you know this has some pretty good yeah. sidewalls up here but really down here I mean it's pretty flat I mean, I don't mean to bash the big horn or nothing. Dude, it's... Don't be bashing the horns. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Billy's going to be running these after he did his 20-minute burnout in the last video. <laughs> He's going to need some new meats. And he blew one on at Windrock, too, so it right has got a sidewall plug in it. But, anyways. All right, so we got a bit of a camera swap. That one was left outside, so it had, like, condensation built up in between the, uh, the two lenses or something. Oh, it's, it's good to go now, but anyways, I'll let you take over. So, we were talking about, I think, right when we switched cameras and realized that it looked like crap, that the big horns are going on Billy's YZ, and they're actually should be a pretty good fit for it because the big horns are, they're 30 inch big horns, that's what comes stock on these, and they weigh 30 pounds. And what we're running now, or what I was running, he's running the carnivore. It was 35 pounds. So I mean, it's five pounds lighter. I would think that would be a pretty significant difference. But, I mean, I guess we'll see if you can tell any differences, you know. But we're going to get those pulled off. You've seen a little bit of a time jump here as well as the camera swap. Um, just pulled some of the tires off. We're going to get them dismounted and get these ones thrown in the stock rims. And then when we're done with this machine, um, we'll pull Billy's in here. And we'll get the uh, the big horns put onto his wheels. So we'll show you a little bit of probably one wheel of each or something like that. And we'll go from there. So I was outside dealing with some barn builders. Um, I don't know. Billy's been fighting this one. How's that going? <laughs> That's not going good. No. No. So I figured since they were so new, we wouldn't have to have a big issue with the with the inner bead. But turns out it's an issue. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're gonna have to go outside and maybe run it over my truck or something and and figure out. But we got the I got the one bead lock ring off. It came right off, so we just gotta break the back bead on this unit and and we'll be in business. The excitement's real. It doesn't look fun. No. And then we'll have to fight all the years off. Yeah. And it's like 20 degrees out with just 80 mile an hour wind. It's like a freaking hurricane outside. Yeah, we're in like a, <laughs> a winter weather warning or whatever, but 
it's not even snowing it's just like icing <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> pretty, pretty yeah it's pretty brutal i couldn't even get up his driveway i had to put her in four wheel and there ain't even snow so it's pretty unfortunate but yeah we're so we're gonna keep working on this and we'll chime in when we feel it's necessary all right so we got two two of the big horns dismounted we'll show you how we how we did it we used a high lift jack and then the back of a work truck so when I mean, you guys probably got something laying around maybe you know your trailer or something mine was too light but yeah. i don't know we'll show you how we did it on on one of these other tires that at the rear we just wanted to make sure we could get it done that's really cold out so we weren't trying to waste <laughs> too much time filming but yeah so now we're going to throw these on and uh the roxillas are directional so we got to pay attention to that but other than that we just lube up the bead on both of them and uh and slide the one side over and then just tighten up the bead lock ring and then torque them all to to whatever they're supposed to be torqued to which we gotta look it up but yeah not too bad all right so we got one of them mounted up got the bead set on the back the old milwaukee did the job <laughs> kind of surprised i haven't set up my actual air compressor yet because it's still it's waiting to be put into my real shop but anyways so the true measurements like it's hard to tell on the camera but it's about 31 and three quarters to the middle of the tread and it's really hard to get a shot because it matters you know what height i'm at but about 31 and three quarters and we're running um 15 pounds of air pressure in it so pretty good i think you know i don't know what's your take it doesn't really seem like any of the tires measure out no they all I think with like 10 pounds is what it'll probably be running normally. Yeah, I think it'll most likely. Yeah. Be around 31 and a half. Yeah. About a half inch short. Just our carnivores are the same. They're 29 and a half measured. Yeah, and Josh's 30 inch Rockzillas were like 29 and a half. Yeah. Um, the big horns actually. We'll get that for you quick. Cause this is pretty interesting. This is like the first tire that we've seen that actually measures out to be. Well, actually, these are about 30. So these are right at 30. Like I said, it's hard to get the right shot, but right around 30 inches, and those are running 15, pound, 15 pounds too, so it's comparable. But Yeah, and they're on the machine too, so they might be a little low, but they've been, basically, the first time we measured them, it was right there. Yeah. Like true to size, which is the first time I've ever seen a true to size tire. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Usually it's about a half inch off, and, you know, it's pretty significant really but but yeah anyways these rings were supposed to be torqued to um was it like 14 or 15 12 to 14 pounds is what i found on the internet interweb. so that's what we're running you know just do like a crisscross pattern or whatever we don't want to bore you with that because it would take like forever but but yeah pretty excited so we really didn't show this on the first tire but uh we just lube up both both beads pretty good one on the tire and then one on the rim and Billy just gives it a good launch <laughs> and it pops right on and then you just tighten up the bolts for the bead lock ring so we'll give you an action shot of that cowabunga oh, Yeah, so yeah, that figures, doesn't it? We're good on the first one, then we video it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle, but yeah, it looks good. So she should slide right on, and then you grab the old V locker, and I just left the bolts in it and get it somewhat lined up here. But then you can grab the wheel itself and pull it up to it, and then just start some bolts. You ready for this, Billy? Yeah, here, get the shot. This is the moment. Oh, is it ready? Hang on. Did you get it? All right, drop it. Mm. The anticipation, man. <laughs> <laughs> the stickies are holding them, holding their ground. I just broke the front clip. Oh. I think she's good, it's sprung back. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do anything. Dude, she's mean. 
These things look sick. Yeah, they're way more aggressive looking than the 30s, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like a whole different tire. Yeah, it looks really good on 32s. I'm pumped. You know, there's a whole debacle. I see a bunch of people running 34s or 35s, but I think, you know, the way the way we ride and the aggressiveness, I just, I don't want to get it and then not be able to, like, compare reliability to anything because I just threw some massive truck tires on it or something, you know? Yeah. It's really hard to, to... There's a fine line between, I don't know, that's, that's a lot of weight too. That bigger tire, you know, it might just break everything. It wasn't just really designed for, but 32s are a pretty good comparison, I think. Yeah, yeah, and the 2020... It should come with 32s, in my opinion. Yeah, and the 2020 RC comes with 32s, so I mean, you just keep coming out at the best times. <laughs> it was done. Perfect. But yeah, anyways, I'm really pumped. Looks good. Just gotta do the back, and then uh, and then we're on to to the YXZ. Get some YXZ content for you guys. All right, so we got the rears off. We're just breaking them down right now. If anybody needs a fit crew. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna take you guys with us on our journey out into the tundra and show you how we're pulling the, what would that be, the inner bead off the wheel. Since obviously that side's not bead locked. We got Hercules over here grabbing two at a time. Yeah. Welcome to the tundra. <laughs> here's the, uh, here's the layout of the future shop that you guys will see us in. I'm sure all the time, can't really see it, but here's one corner. Then back here, there's a corner over there and over here. And it's gonna be a 30, 30 foot wide, two 12 foot doors in the front, and then it's 40 feet deep. And we're gonna do like a car lift and stuff in there. That'll be pretty sick. And then my driveway is up here, and we're gonna carry it in and continue it on into the front of the shop. So construction will be getting started on that. And I believe a couple weeks here, and then once springtime comes around, we'll pour the concrete in there. But anyways, we want to bring you guys along and show you guys how we're dismounting this quick. So this is what we got going. We got a high lift jack. And then the foot pushes down right next to the rim. You got the face of the rim down in the grass. So that way it doesn't scuff it up too much. And uh, just push down and it pulls the, the bead off the rim. You know. oh. And there it is. One done. One more to go. Now we're just pushing the wheel out from the inside while we're in here, or while we're out here, so we don't scratch up all the wheels on the concrete. I'm gonna leave that thing out here again. Oh yeah, we're gonna need it for the the carnivores. Damn, I thought the end was near, but it's not. Yeah, obviously there's probably easier ways with a tire machine or even to break the bead, like a bead breaker, I mean, I know they make yeah, that stuff. Tire machine would be. Yeah, a tire machine would be <laughs> legit, but we're just kind of showing it the way we're doing it. And if you happen to have the same stuff, you know, a high lift jack and something you can wedge it against, you can get it done. I mean, it'd be a cool investment to get something for tires, but you don't really do it all that much to to make it worthwhile. So I just figured we'd show you how we're, how we're doing it. All right, guys, here's the final product.
with no shop i gotta leave this thing outside it's just an icicle out here <laughs> only when we're working on the rig spot here's a little cold star for you <laughs> oh, here comes old Tiki. Thing's still with us. Old Tiki and Squeaky. this thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much ice is on it? She's a little crispy. <laughs> Alright, let's get this heat on. Alright, so we got two of these tires, two of the big horns swapped over onto Billy's wheels. The methods. And they've been kind of kicking our ass to be honest. <laughs> But his wheels are, I mean, kind of, I don't want to say worked, but, you know, they've had a hard life. So They've been on there for a long time, too. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, all, like, the, the bolt holes are kind of, like, smashed, like, over the bolts a little bit. Yeah, the fronts are really bad. Yeah, so it's kind of a struggle, <laughs> but honestly, the biggest struggle was probably getting the, the inner bead off of the carnivore, inner bead off of the method. They were just, yeah, they were one. They were glued on. Yeah. It took many attempts. Yeah, for sure. But it was dark outside, so we didn't get any shots of that. But anyways, we got these two on. And uh, I mean, they're definitely significantly bigger. More, it's got like the, the four-wheeler style look to it. I don't know. Billy likes the big horns. I do like the big horns. I think <laughs> they work good. They yeah. Like a really good all-around tire. I can't argue that. I just... I'm not much of a fan of the looks of them, but that's about it. Yeah, I mean, comparing apples to oranges over there, it's pretty. What do you mean? Looks department. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people like that style better though. I just think it looks kind of like a four wheeler, but yeah, it does. You know. Yeah, they're not the most appealing wheel, that's for sure. Or tire. But, but they do hook up good. Yeah. And I got them for the right price, so figured my carnivores were seeing better days and. These will last me long enough for <laughs> long enough. That's what it's a, well, it'll get us where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we're just mounting up the, the last two. I throw them up on the back here, and we'll get a couple, um, some height measurements, I think. Yeah. I've been kind of curious. I wanted to just, like, compare, like, the lowest point, you know, on this. I, even though it's not really fair, but it's just, I mean, this is what I went to. This is what I've got now, so kind of i'm curious to compare like the lowest point like for example like up in here yeah. versus versus in here you know so it's dark over here but yeah Their machines were set up very similar to like ride height wise so yeah be able to see like exactly what he's gaining i should have done it before we took the carnivores off because he definitely gained some ride height going yeah. with these ones yeah i think these are probably about an inch taller yeah but anyways, we're gonna throw these tires on, and then we're gonna look at uh, look at a couple comparisons, ground clearance wise, and that'll pretty much wrap up this video. So, all right, so we got Billy's rig all set down on on all four of the big horns, and we're just going through a couple ground clearance measure measurements, like we said we were gonna do. Um, we we're just kind of curious how they compared clearance wise, since they're both in here right now, and might as well, right? Yeah. So one thing we've always I mean, it's always hindered us with these machines is so if we're like going through ruts or whatever, uh, these arms will drag pretty bad. I mean, front and back, it's no, there's no real high clearance. There's, you can get a high clearance front and I think you can get high clearance backs too, but they're extremely expensive and I mean, these have proven to be pretty stout. So we're just gonna, we're just curious stock. I mean, this is stock suspension versus stock suspension. So we'll just get a couple of measurements at the wheel, the middle of the bar and then main ground clearance and see what the differences are for each machine. How much that one's gained over this one stock for stock. Other than the 32s and 30s. I mean, yeah. neither of those are stock, but that's just like, 
in our opinion, a good size tire to run on each machine. You yeah. know, it's not overkill going 32s on that, and it's not overkill going 30s on this. So it's kind of where we're at. But yeah. So lowest point towards the wheel is about nine and three quarters. And then in the middle of the arm, we'll say it's about a foot, 12 inches. All right. And then bottom, I got about 14 and a half to the bottom of my skid plate. It's so, a custom unit because <laughs> I ripped it off. So nine and three quarters, 12 and 14 and a half? Yes. All right. And if you go over here, over to the bottom here, we're at about 12 and a quarter. Yeah. 12 and a quarter right next to the tire. So what's that, like two and a half inches? Yep. Higher? Yeah. Yep. Then we'll go to the middle. It's about... 15. Yeah, it's basically 15. Basically 15 there. And over there it was 12. And we're still at 15. Yeah, 15 is the same. So like just the difference in where the where the arm mounts, you know, is why it's the same measurement. So yeah, so I mean three inches of clearance right where it counts when you're going through a rut. Yeah, right. That's pretty huge. <laughs> yeah, or just scaling over a rock or whatever. Yeah. You know. And yeah, then that's... what about uh what about like right to the lower control arm? Or I don't know, is that the right way to say it? Trailing arm? Yeah, that's the word I'm thinking for. So I guess we'll go from where... Because mine looks pretty mouse. close to yours. Yeah. So, well, we'll try to go like... Just middle. go like in front of the tire on each of them. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty good... Yeah. Okay, so we're at about 12 inches. Yeah. In front of the tire. If you go over here... Ooh, I got ya. Ooh, okay, dang. Look at me. I'm at 13 inches on this <laughs> unit. So, I mean, it's just interesting to see, see yeah, the differences. But these, these never really gave us an issue, but the back bar is definitely. I mean, yeah. you can watch some of our older videos. They're just dragging through the mud. Yeah, right. So we'll go to front and start running this again. So if we go close to the wheel again, about 10 and 3 quarters. All right. The bottom of the A arm, middle of the A arm, 14. You Maybe got we'll... the drain and the floor helping you out here. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. So I'm cheating. Let's try this side. 13 and a half. Well, I guess it depends which side of the tape measure you look at. Yeah, I mean, four, <laughs> 14 to 13 and a half. Yeah. So around 13 and a half, 14. And we got 15 to the front. But and what was this corner? This corner was? 10 and three quarter. 10 and a quarter. 10 and a quarter. All right. Oh, he just drops pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So, we, I mean, we got 13 right there. Yeah. So that's almost. Three inches yeah. almost. And then in the middle, you were at like 14-ish. Yeah, and we're at 15 and a half. Yeah, pretty close to 15 and a half. And then what were you in the middle? 15? 15. And we're at about 15 and three quarters. Yeah. So, so I mean, I mean not that's, all. And it's probably, I mean, the drain is right there, so it... Yeah, that's the I'd give or take a half inch. Yeah, right. So I mean these, a lot, half inch less because that's helping me for sure. Yeah, right. I mean these definitely aren't exact measurements. I mean my floor is certainly not <laughs> perfect. But you know, it's just just a general idea. I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't really look like uh doesn't really look like his front is that much worse than my front, you know. We were close. Yeah. But the, I mean, the high. But right by the, huge. yeah, right by the wheel, it was a big difference. And that's, I mean, that's a clearance right where you want it, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's another, another area on our, on the Y Z that just drags through them. Right. Whatever. And actually, I mean, in all honesty, if we're, if we're thinking about it technically, you just gained about an inch with those tires. So like, what our normal ride height. Yeah. 
Maybe not an inch. I guess you're only gaining like a half inch, an inch on the total. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good half inch. So yeah, it's a healthy half inch I gained just from going to these big horns. Right. Yeah, I mean the tires were noticeably bigger. So, but yeah. Anyways, that that pretty much concludes this video. I mean, it's about all we got for you on the tire swap. It's probably a long video. If you made it this <laughs> far, thanks for sticking with us. You know, be sure to help support. Other than that, anything else? Yeah, I mean, stay tuned. We'll be we'll be putting these Maxillas or Rockzillas. Oh Jesus. God! <laughs> <laughs> to the test for sure. Yeah, I we're uh, actually we're all pretty pumped about them, so we're hoping that the hype is real on these units. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. We've never ran a sticky, so. But we are actually getting ready. It's like ten o'clock right now. Mm, we're getting. Happy <laughs> <Might be> later. <laughs> is it? Oh no. But anyways, we're getting ready to load up in the in the morning and head down to the our local park. It's like two hours, two and a half hours. Probably take us like three because it's like I don't know no, winter conditions outside. We'll call it wintering outside. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be the first trip out. I'm excited. Um, yeah, stay tuned.